going to show you how to set up an NIV, NIPI as it's known throughout the Trust, onto CPAP. Okay. First of all I'm going to talk about the actual machine. So you've got your machine, you've got your filter at the back. This filter needs to be changed between both each patient by just clipping off the back. The filter will be kept in the respiratory room or wherever your actual NIV is being stored. Okay, so this must be changed, machine cleaned and changed between each patient. These are just the basics that you should know. It can be cleaned by Tristel or double tri tristled if it's in an affected room and it also, if it has been used, would need to be labelled, infected and bagged, please. I'll now go through the equipment that you will require. When you go to your equipment room to get your machine, you're going to actually need to receive some tubing. You'll also need a mask. Now this mask the preferred size is large. The first size I would always go for would be large. Take your actual measuring chart out and you will need to measure your patient correctly. If it is not a large size, then please replace it back into the packet that you will be actually not using. You need to be measuring from your nose to your chin. Most sizes, as I've just said to you, will be large. You need to be measuring your patient with their mouth slightly open. The reason for this is because as we're adding pressure into the patient, it will be forcing their mouth open. So this is why it's really important that you get the correct sizing. Otherwise, your mask will, and the seal of the mask will just go into your mouth. So, if you place it on the top of the nose and check that that's going to fit, as you can see, that's a little bit small for me. You would probably need a large top of the nose again, onto the chin. Check that the mouth's open a little bit, nice and relaxed, and that will tell you that it's a large. Sometimes it may be a medium. It doesn't make any difference because the areas between your nose here will always be the same on all size masks. The difference in sizing is between here and here. So that's your mask. That's your tubing. When you take your tubing out of the packet, you'll come across this plastic clear tube. This must never ever be used on the NIV. It needs to be removed. It's really, really important that you actually remove this part and actually seal this part off so that the circuit is full and sealed. Okay, just like so. please actually bin that tubing so nobody else can actually use it as well. So you've actually got your tubing here. I'm actually going to leave a lung on it today so I can show you the difference for how we normally would use it. Um, just so you can actually see the difference. I'm going to place it on to the nippy. So the tubing that we've got has actually already got a filter on at this point. But this is a filter that we would be using for our um, infected patient. And it would actually sit at this point between here and your mask, like so. But because I'm going to actually show you the different pressures, I'm going to put my lung back on. Right, so we're actually going to turn it on at this point. And while it's warming up, I'm just going to tell you, this is your prescription side of your NIV. This is the side that we will be delivering, EPAP and IPAP. This side is all about your alarms, okay, which I will go through as well. So, when you first actually go on your NIV, you will need to actually clear to go back to its correct settings, back to its manufacturer's settings. So we're actually going to go into menu and we are going to go to 
Number four, clear patience and set it. It may alarm at that point, if you just press plus, it will clear it and take it back to its manufacturer's settings. So at this point, it brings us to pressure support, which is what we would normally deliver as a trust. Pressure support is what we deliver for our type 2 respiratory patients. We are, with our new infection, we are delivering to type 1 patients, so we are going to be delivering um, CPAP. So we're going to go into mode and we are going to go to number one for CPAP and just set it in place. Okay, so we are now on CPAP. Before, as you saw, the actual lung was breathing because that's what we normally help support as pressure support and now it is just nice and full. This is what we are going to be delivering CPAP. We're going to be delivering CPAP to our patients. It's holding open those lungs so that that patient's not as tired. We're going to help them keep those lungs open. We're going to help that chemical exchange work and we're going to help to bring those saturations up. That is what CPAP is all about. Okay, so you will automatically come on to five of PEEP. Now, we need to be getting to 10 of PEEP as quickly as possible. So as much as the patient will tolerate, you may find that you have to go up nice and slowly. So if you just plus it to 5.5 and go up in fives nice and slowly, when I say as quick as possible, I'm talking about in 10 minutes, not in an hour or two hours. We need to be getting there up as quickly as possible. But again, it may depend on how your patient, how your patient can tolerate it. So we need to get up to 10 on our, e, on our um, CPAP. At 10, if your saturations don't seem to be improving, you may go up to 12 of CPAP. 12 is a ceiling at this point. If you're still not making any improvements, please, please seek help from your consultant, registrar, doctor, to where we're going to go from there. So the main thing is we are trying to get their saturations up. This is what we're looking for. This is why we're delivering that CPAP to keep those lungs nice and full so that that chemical exchange can work and we can get rid of, um, that patient can get rid of the secre sec secretions. So we're going to be putting the mask on the patient, which I will show you in a second how to actually put it on correctly. But what I would like to just point out to start off with is um, where to actually attach your oxygen. So your oxygen on your mask goes at this point here. Okay, just in this little point. It always goes through the mask. Never ever through the machine. Oxygen must go from the flow on the wall, through your green tubing, through to your mask. Okay, at this point. You can give as much oxygen that's required to their saturations that's been prescribed. In the type 1 uh, respiratory failure patient, we are looking at uh, 93 and above. Sometimes with guidance from the doctors on the ward, we may take lower. Okay. Um, when you're actually fixing your mask, you need to be not fixing it too tight because your patient won't tolerate it. It needs to be nice and loose on the face because this actually fills, this little well here fills with air and it forms a seal on the face. If you put it on too tight, it will not seal and it will just constantly alarm. When you have the mask on your patient, you may be able to change the position via the nose just to make it nice and comfortable for your position. Don't, for your patient, sorry. What you don't need to be doing is changing the straps and tightening the straps all the time. If a nebulizer is required for this patient, the, co the infected patient, let's put this on because obviously you'll have this on, you won't be able to give a nebulizer like normal with the T-bar. You will have to take the patient off and nebulize them separately via oxygen, only because the filter will end up getting soaking wet. 
If the patient's too sick to take off, then you may have to nebulise her via the normal way on the NIV through the compressor, um, but you will have to change your filters regular. These filters must be changed every 24 hours. Once you have got your face mask applied and your patient onto NIV, then you do need to do your normal observations, monitoring your patient at all times, because whilst on CPAP it can affect blood pressure. So it's really important to, to monitor your patient's blood pressure. I'm a respiratory doctor and I will now tell you how to connect all the tubing together after we have understood to after we have learned how to use the machine as well as put up the mask. So the first step would be to switch on the power button and wait for a few seconds. The second step would be to choose the mode. On every machine there are four modes. We will only usually use two modes. One would be CPAP for con continuous positive airway pressure and pressure, uh, pressure support for BiPAP. So now we will learn how to set up the pressures while on pressure support which is BiPAP. So first to set up IPAP, we press the IPAP button and then if we want to change the pressures we use the arrow key plus or arrow key minus to change the settings. If we set the button in the middle that ensures the pressures set. For EPAP you press the EPAP button and then again with the arrow keys plus and arrow keys minus you change the pressures and we can press the middle button to set. This current machine is set at 12 and 5. This is roughly the pressure we would like you to set up for a new patient. Then you choose a backup rate. So press the backup button and then again use the arrow keys plus and arrow keys minus and press the set button. This patient's respiratory backup rate is set up at 12. The patient's backup rate should be set ideally half of his respiratory rate with a minimum of 12. Now for setting on, up on the CPAP setting, you go to mode, you select the CPAP setting which is the first setting, then you set. After that, to change the pressure, you will only use the EPAP button. If you press the EPAP button and then use the arrow keys plus and the arrow keys minus to change the settings. If you press the set button, that sets it at the specified setting. Currently, the machine is set at six centimeters of water pressure. This is a demonstration of how to attach the tubing. You take the tubing, there is a preset filter on the tubing. You attach it to the blue knob, nice and firm. And then on the other side of the tubing, if it is a COVID patient, you would use a special filter, a second filter. Just attach it to the end. And this then would connect to the mask. If the patient does not have COVID infection, you do not use this filter. So in that case, you will directly connect this to the mask. Once all the tubing is set up, the oxygen is attached to this port over here. This plug comes off and if you attach your green tubing to this port. I'm actually going to show you now how to attach a mask to the NIV machine and the patient. First of all, I would just check my machine that it's nicely set up as prescribed by the doctor. 
Um, you can do this whether it's pressure support or CPAP. So you've got your tube, everything's connected. I've got this filter in place because I'm going to deliver some CPAP. Okay, so this would be my patient. I've actually measured this patient and the mask is as a large. Right, I'll first of all tell my patient exactly what we're doing, that we're going to actually sit, sit this mask over his face or her face. I'm just going to put it in front first so that the patient can actually feel the airflow on the face. You need to just make sure that it's nice they sat at the bottom in the nape of the neck, so it's nice and firm. So we're actually going to tighten these straps from the top, start from the top. Whatever you do at one side, you must do at the other. If you don't get this mass nice and straight on your patient with equal sides, then it will keep alarming. You must get your mass nice and straight. Remember not to do it too tight. Just to check you can get your fingers down either side. So once you've actually got the mask in situ, just make sure you just check that that's nice and smoothly sat along the bottom of the mouth and there's actually no leaks around the mask. If there's any leaks, you can tighten up here on the nose rather than actually tightening on the straps. At that point, if you just check your machine that everything's okay, it's not alarming and start going up in, in your BiPAP or your CPAP, whichever you, you need to do.